Hello everyone, so I wanted to go ahead and do this video, and I was actually planning to do this video yesterday, but let's just say yesterday there were some things that came up, and there was some really crazy weather, and it might be a little bit windy today, so if you hear some wind, then you'll know why. Now, today's video is going to be different than what I normally do. It's not going to be gaming news or tech news. It's going to be something a bit different, and let's just say there happens to be two stories that are in the same area, and they actually link together in a couple of ways. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Netflix. Now, Netflix has came out and said that they will be ramping up their price from $7.99 to $9.99. Now, for those of you that already have Netflix, they will be locking in the price for you to $7.99, at least for a while. They didn't exactly say for how long. It could be three months. It could be for five months. It could be longer, but they will be locking in the price to $7.99, at least for a while. So if you're a new customer, then it will be $9.99 for you. Now, the reason they came out and said this was because was because in order for them to be able to bring out new content and be able to expand, they're going to have to make more money to make up for that, make it worthwhile investment. And it's just, it's a necessary thing. And most of the time this is true. And it is true, but the true reason as to why they're ramping up the price has to do with the whole net neutrality thing. The whole thing with the big, large internet providers, including Comcast slash Time Warner, which, by the way, they alone pretty much cover 60% of the internet service throughout the entire United States. So, yeah, that's a big percentage. So, they pretty much have went to Netflix and they have demanded money in return for them to unthrottle people's connection, us, the consumers, to Netflix. And a lot of internet providers have been throttling people's connections in order to force them to actually upgrade from one internet plan to the other one. For example, let's just say if there's a 25 megabyte down plan and for whatever reason it's too slow on Netflix. And let's just say if you go from that internet plan to the 50 megabyte down plan, you may notice that it's probably actually five times faster. Even though the down is actually only two times faster, it's actually, you know, working five times faster. And that might be because on the previous internet plan, the one right below it that you had before was actually being throttled. And they do this to force you to upgrade the internet plan. And this is also another way for them to just try to deny the fact that the cable industry is dying. And they hate the fact that online streaming television services are pretty much the new thing and they are taking over and this is their way to try to make more money. Now in the end, this really, really makes things worse for the consumer because one, we're, they're throttling things that we're already paying for and they shouldn't be throttling the internet service that we are paying for and they're trying to force us to upgrade internet plans and all kinds of stuff so then they can make more money. And on the other side, because they're going to large companies like Netflix, we're going to end up having to pay more in the very end. And that's why the price went up from $7.99 to $9.99. So this is something I definitely do not like. And I could go really, really in depth about net neutrality and all the stuff that's going on. And the fact that the internet providers are extremely greedy. And they've done at least three, maybe five things to try to maximize profit. Even though they're already making a butt ton of money. And their service really doesn't require much service technically. Um, if you really, really look into it. But, you know, this has happened, and the next thing I'm going to talk about is Amazon's video streaming service, which I believe is called Amazon Instant Video, and this is something available to all Amazon Prime members, and they have a lot of content on there, but it's not quite as big as something like Netflix, for example, but they've definitely been adding more and more things over the years. Um, just recently, they actually added a whole bunch of content from Nickelodeon, so that was really, really nice, and now they're going to be bringing content from HBO, which is really nice because HBO is one of those big things that a lot of people really love the content on there, and it's one of those things that people, let's just say if you have cable, for example, that people will usually get free for the first few months, and it's something a lot of people really do end up enjoying, and they try to suck you into the whole subscription thing so then they can make more money off of you and everything, and seeing this coming into an online video streaming service is really, really nice overall. Now, the content that is going to be brought to Amazon Prime, you know, their video streaming service, they're not. it's not going to be everything. It's going to be mostly older content or series that are pretty much over and done with. And there might be a couple of newer shows that they are going to have on there, but they're not going to have the newest episodes. They're pretty much going to have all the older seasons. For example, if there's a show that has seven seasons and they're right now in the eighth season and it's not complete yet, 
you might get the previous seven seasons, but you won't get any episodes from the eighth season until it's actually over. So hopefully they will actually, you know, add more content and add more shows. They don't have Game of Thrones, which is really dis big disappointment to a lot of people. But hopefully they will be able to add more over time. Maybe this is just their way to test things before they start going all out and bringing everything to the table. But hopefully they do actually bring more. And if not, then for all we know, this could be their way to actually draw people into getting HBO. So then they're like, oh, well, if you enjoy it enough and if you want to be able to see all the newest episodes and Game of Thrones and all this stuff, then you're going to have to, you know, go with this other service or something like that. This way they can make more money. I mean, that's all it's really about. Now, for those of you actually didn't know but Netflix actually runs on Amazon's infrastructure which includes their servers so it's quite interesting to see two video sharing services or streaming services are really working or helping each other out in a lot of ways and there's a couple of other services that actually run off of Amazon servers as well so I feel like they're a very big key player within this industry in a couple of ways and you know I just wanted to go and talk about this if I could ramble on about so many things and this video is a bit longer than usual but it seems like video streaming services is changing a lot. And with the most recent price increase on Amazon Prime membership, which, by the way, they kept the same the price the same for eight or nine years. So almost a decade, even though they kept on adding more and more content, adding more and more benefits and features to Amazon Prime membership. And even though the shipping prices skyrocketed within the past like eight or nine years. So seeing that they're still adding more and more content to Amazon Prime membership that is, I'm not going to lie, it's really, really nice. So, you know, for those of you that have Amazon Prime, awesome. But if not, then that's perfectly fine. Everyone has different things. But anyways, I'm going to end the video right here before I ramble on for too long. I'm definitely going to try to bring some more videos pretty soon. Sorry for, you know, slowing down and stuff like that. A lot of crazy stuff's been going on the last couple of weeks. Well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. I really hope you guys have a great week. I hopefully will see you guys later this week. But if not, then either way, I will see you guys in the next video.